everyone and welcome back to the colouring zone my name's Lena so um it is that time of month so this is my July haul video um I'm just going to move these things out of the way and we can get going so the first item I want to share with you um is um a set of um washi tape so I saw on um Kirsty Colouring Sketches channel that she uh, got some washi tape from Etsy and it was like a surprise bag. I'm sorry I did open it, I just could not wait and um, yeah I looked in it. But um so the the name is the joyful stationery that I bought this from. Um so there's eight in here and it, as I said it is a surprise pack. Um I started using this one and then decided that actually I didn't want it on that particular page, but um so I haven't got that to show you because I did take it off. But um it's just it's just really sweet, isn't it? I think not knowing what you're gonna get, there's like an element of of like surprise. It's like you know, when you're a kid and you get like a lucky bag or something. So um anyway, so yeah, I'm really pleased with them. So we've got the cupcakes, like a sort of floral sort of design. Um polka dots i love polka dots and i love green and white so um suns and this is another floral one but a bit brighter colors um stripes i really can imagine this in one of um hannah carlson's books um one of the candy pages which i'm thinking i might use it on that this is stars and then the last one which is really really sweet they're like baby foxes I mean, it's just lovely. So I got those from um, Etsy. I think it was a UK um, seller. I'm not in, entirely sure. I will link it down below. Um, so the next um, lot. So the next item is from Japan that I purchased. Um, I saw this, um, this seller um on featuring on Imogen's channel um she spoke about um uh, a lady um that's got an Etsy store um she is from Japan and she's called Eriko I think I'm saying that right <laughs> Um, but I just I started opening it and then I thought actually no I really want to share it with you guys because the packaging is just so beautiful she takes so much thought and effort to 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 package this so I thought I'd share it with you um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna how do I get into it oh yeah there we go sorry it's like crumpling but yeah look so much thought goes into this um, so I bought quite a few, um, so this is, I did have a peek, and there's also like more of this stuff to protect it. Um, she's a really, really lovely lady. Um, she, she like let me know when it was coming, when she shipped it and things like that. Um, so I just want to open this up. So I think this is probably the best quality um, sort of washi tape that I own. Um, and Imogen did say that it was very good quality. Um, this is the one that really, really drew me. It's got like a sort of like splatter effect. So I haven't used any of these. Um, oh, there's like little stickers. Oh, that's so sweet. So let me just take the card out. Um, I will link it down below, but just in case you're interested, um, I will show you her card. So that's the information there. So she's called Sweet Supply Store on Etsy. These are like little stickers. These are so sweet. I'm thinking about making a card from one of my... Um, Friends. it's her birthday quite soon and I'm thinking maybe I could use some of these stickers so anyway there's like lots of do you know what? I might as well just show you there's this one a little triangle these are really sweet a little heart flower another triangle bow and a mickey mouse very very sweet so those are i'm just going to move them off to the side and then 
also the other ones i'm just gonna but yeah i mean she's even like designed the the packaging it's so sweet so this is the biggest one i'm not sure i think i actually saw this on um imogen's channel i think she purchased this one as well i love bunting so i really wanted to get this one and then there's that one there's this galaxy one and some um sunflowers and then also this one which is sort of like a metallic sort of effect i'm thinking i might use this um on on one of the um cards i think i'm planning to use gelatos um it might be a complete disaster <laughs> But if anyone's interested, I mean, I have been watching some uh, card making um, videos on YouTube. But if anyone's interested in, in seeing my first attempt at making a card, please let me know in the comments below and I'll happy sh to show it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so those are those. Really, really nice, brilliant quality. I'm really looking forward to using these. There's a baby um, or like a toddler outside and I keep thinking it's it's my son, but he's asleep. So it's it's, it's not him, but I just keep thinking it is. <laughs> right. So the next item is Mythographic and it is Dream Garden. And this is by Fabiana Artanasio. I hope I'm saying that right. So this book here, um, Colouring with K. Um, asked me if I wanted to do a buddy colour in this book. Now, I didn't actually have the book and I don't have any of these mythographic um, books because I thought well, they're too detailed and I don't think I'd colour in them. Um, but after seeing it on um, Colour with Kay's channel, I just, yeah, I'm so glad I, I, I did it and I bought it because... I absolutely love the images in here. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple. Um, so the one that she's thinking about colouring is, I should have tagged it. is this one here. I mean, just look how gorgeous that is. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I was thinking I could use some of that washi tape around, and I think it would actually, might be a bit too thick on some of it to do like a border. But anyway, so there's this page that really stands out to me. And there's a couple more, which I will show you. Um, I don't know, the paper seems very thick. Um, Obviously, I don't know what materials will work well in it, but it is single-sided. Um, so I could go to town with all different mediums, even maybe even the Bruccio powders as well, if I if I dare. Um, so there's the lion, which I thought was really, really gorgeous. And then the other one that really stood out to me was a boat. Um, sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, the jellyfishes. I really like that one. I can imagine doing like pastel colours for this one um, and using the Derwent pastel paints for that. Where is it? I must have gone past it. Yeah, it's this one here. The boat going into the um, sunflowers. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really happy that I've purchased this one and um, it's, it's probably not something that I would have bought if it hadn't have been for K. So thank you very much. And I would love to do a body colour in here. <laughs> um, I will, I'll drop you an email. Um, yeah, so there's that one. So that is like, the only book that I've purchased. Um, so I've got a couple, I think I've got a couple coming in August. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's mainly supplies really. So these ones here, I bought from the range. Um, now I have... I've tried to find them. Um, I've typed in, so this is Deco Time. Um, it just says here. And these are metallic twin markers. So one side is metallic and one side's aqua. 
Um, so really, really unusual. I've never come across these before. Um, as I said, they were in the range and this was the last pack and it was reduced. Um, I think originally they were like £6, but I paid £3 for them. Um, I have swatched them out, so I will show you. But unfortunately, I've, I've looked in like on Google and stuff and I can't find them anywhere. So I'm not really sure whether they're sold readily or not. I did see it on someone else's channel because I typed in um, metallic twin markers just to see if anyone um, had done like a video on them. Um, and they also bought them from the range in the UK. Um, and she bought quite a few packs. But um, she, yeah, I don't think there was any links. I don't think she could find any links either. So here are the colours. So I hope you're going to be able to see. Um, so these are the um, aqua side of it. And these are the metallics. So I did try and blend one into the metallic. But it didn't really, well, it, it didn't really do much to be honest. But I haven't really played around with them. Um, so yeah, if I just show you, I'm going to get one out. It's just so unusual. They're just so unusual. I've just never come across them. So, so, um, let's have a look. Yeah. So this is the aqua side and they're very juicy, I must say. So it is a brush, brush tip. And then this is the metallic side. Um, so yeah, they're water based. Now on this paper, which is just Amazon paper, the um aqua side did come through yeah the aqua side did come through um so i something that i need to be aware of really when i'm using them in coloring books it might be that i stick to single-sided or maybe even if i gesso a page which i am planning to do um to use mainly to use gelatos um but yeah so we will see but it, yeah it's an interesting find um, so I'm quite pleased with them. So those are those ones. So the next items are from a company called, or shop, sorry, called um, Typo. So it feels like a really long time ago that I was in this shop, but it was, I think it was nearer the start of the, of this month. So I bought a few things there. So I bought these five gel pens as well as these bulldog clips now i have got quite a few of the bull um ball clips but they are if i can just find one i can show you they're quite a bit smaller the ones that i've got and they are great and um, for holding things in place and stuff particularly if i'm if i'm using them for to thing down a page and i'm using watercolor um, I found that sometimes if it's on there for a while, they can actually really start digging in. Um, and there's not much, there's not that much giving them. I'm pressing quite hard to release it. And I know obviously when you've got it on the page, you do that. But um, I thought these were really inexpensive. I think I paid like £1.50. So I just thought these would be quite good because they are bigger. Um, it might not actually cause so much of a dent. Um, that's my theory anyway. These are also quite stiff, but I'm hoping that these might work better, particularly with using watercolour on my on my pages. So those are them. I don't think I've actually swatched um, them out, these gel pens. So what I will do is I'll swatch them on camera. It might be that I um, just fast forward it or if it's not too long then i'll just keep it in but um yeah so i'll just do that now so i'm pretty sure i haven't so so yeah i'm not sure whether typo is in other countries i really i'm not i don't know um i will have a look and i'll put it in the description below i'm actually going to put it here yeah, these are nice gel pens. They're really good coverage. Um, I did use them a little bit in the shop, just like sort of testing the colours. My son was so good. He was just sort of in his in his push chair. It was really, really hot. So um, 
yeah, it was really hot. And he was in his chair with the the hood up and he was quite snug in there. I think he was wearing just like a t-shirt and, and shorts. And then I've got this like ready, it's like a ready orangey colour, I think. But yeah, as you can see, the flow is really, really nice. And they were inexpensive. I think I paid, I think I paid three pounds for them. And there's five. So I'm not sure how that, how much that works out. But yes, yeah, so I got those ones. So I'm really pleased with those. So they can add to my gel pen collection, which is ever, ever growing. So the next item is more sort of um sort of like admin -y sort of stuff. But so I got these. So I did see this on uh, Kay's channel, so Colouring with Kay. Um I have used one pack of them. I think there's 25 in here. Now it is low. But what I've done is I've used them to sort out my um colouring pencils. So there's certain there's certain um pencils brand pencils that i find it really, really difficult to read the name and actually putting them back in their cases um and in the slots i just never know where they're meant to go like so they're never in order um which can be really annoying sometimes because i'm trying to find a pencil and it's not actually in there so i went through all of my um faber castell polychromos and obviously it only goes up to 100, but I will show you. Have I got my case? No, I'm going to have to go and get it. Two seconds, guys. So you might have seen this in my June haul. Um, so I purchased this case. It was empty at the time, but I have decided to put my polychromos in here. So um, what I've done is I've numbered all of them um, apart from 20. I'm just going to have to move the camera, guys, because otherwise you're not going to be able to see. So, um, so yeah, I've numbered all of them. And actually, I have put tape over them just to secure in some places. And I've seen that I have missed some. Um, but there are there are um, 120 pencils in the polychromos. But the greys are pretty much in order anyway, because obviously they're numbered. So um, I'm not too worried about that. So hopefully, and also the metallics, which I never, I never use the metallics. So um, I'm not too fussed about that either. So I'm really, really pleased with, with, with how organised they are. Whether they'll stay this way, I don't know. But I don't have any excuses now because they are numbered. So fingers crossed. Um, I have got spares for my polychromos, but I've just put them in a different, in a different, um, pot basically rather than putting them in here so anyway so there's that um i just thought i'd sort of give a bit of an explanation as to what i'm using it for so i am hoping to do the sort of similar thing with my other um pencils um i don't know whether i'm going to do it with my prisma colors only because i know them quite well and i don't I don't seem to have an issue with my Christmas colours being out of order. I can always find the right pencil because I know them quite well. So, um, yeah. So there's that. And actually, the polychromos, the writing on them, I should have shown you. I don't think it's very clear. Um, I have noticed that the new pencils that I bought from um, Colt Pens, so I think they're like a diff slightly different print and they're a lot clearer but the ones that i've got are quite um it's like swirly writing and it's gold so anyway so there's that so so the next item um oh i should have so the other item sorry that i got in um the range was this here so it says gold metallic bronze but when you open it it does say just gold now, I haven't swatched this out, so I can't show you, but I am planning to use this on um, a page. Um, so uh, I will show you, hopefully, in my completed pages, you, you will see this on a page. So there's that one. So I was very much enabled by um, Imogen from um, to the Colouring Kid. Um, I, I've seen her use these quite a lot, um, particularly the, the gold um so yeah i'm looking forward to using that one so there's that one so
so we're almost there guys well i say almost so the next items are these little books so this is dover little activity books now i was enabled by k from coloring with Kate so she showed these sort of stencils um books and I thought actually these would be really really useful I didn't expect them to be quite as big but actually I think for background where there's a lot maybe going on and you want a bigger sort of print I think this might be quite useful um whether I could use it like with soft pastels or even the gelatos or distress ink whatever it is um, so I'm hoping to get use out of these. I really like that one, actually. I suppose it's like a daisy of some sort, isn't it? I don't know. And then I've also got a leaves one as well. Um, so, yeah. So these, I think these will be really useful. So those are those ones. And they're just really fun. I mean, I can imagine like when my son's a bit bigger, I could probably use them with him as well. So those are those ones. So you might actually have seen my recent video. I think I called it like mysterious coloured pencils and they are mysterious to me. Um, so I know that some, some people have commented or one person's commented that they do actually have these pencils. Now I did have a look um, online to see if you can get that any from anywhere else other than ebay from the person that i bought them from or the seller on ebay but they're actually i can't find them anywhere else so there is a lady that um is a artist a colored pencil artist and she does actually do a video on her using the 50 um set of pencils um of these but I did have a look in the comments to see if anyone had asked her for a link and stuff. It wasn't in her description. Um, and she said that she bought it from her local, a local store. So I'm, yeah, I'll link it again in the description. So I bought them on eBay. They were £5.99 and surprise purchase. I'm really, but I'm really happy that I've got these. Um, they work really well. So, so those are those ones. Now, the next item I bought from a fellow YouTuber. So I bought this from um, from Gem from the Colour Cave. So she has her website. I think I purchased some brushes last month. Um, so this time I purchased a metal palette, which I'm quite looking forward to using. Um, I'm thinking that I might actually put maybe some, if I'm doing acrylic, this might be quite a good one to to use so um yeah so there's that one i will link her um her website um in the description below as always there's that one so the next items so it's quite a big purchase really so i have got the faber castell gelatos so I bought the metallic set, the iridescent and the translucent set, translucent, I don't know whether I'm saying that right, anyway, so the iridescent I actually do have already, um, I have been doing a bit of research into what, what, um, what is their full range and I think actually they've got like a gift set one and two but there are some metallics in gift set two and some translucents and some so i think they're all sort of all like merging together i know that there's pastel set which i do own um i did buy that on their second hand um so these are very much specs because i have already got this that i bought second hand but it wasn't in the packet it was just sort of they were all mixed in together um so i have you know i've sort of branched out a little bit and added more to my collection i have swatched them out so i will show you um i'm really pleased with them i'm really really happy that i actually decided to buy them and i bought them for a reasonable price now as as i'm just flicking through i'll just quickly say so i did buy them from um wh smith's the translucents and the iridescents um, and they were half price, so they were £15 each as opposed to 30 
and then the metallics I bought on Amazon and I think that was for £20 but it wasn't directly through Amazon um sorry guys I'm too busy chatting you're not actually finding the right page do you know what I think it's actually in the other book it is so I'm hoping to do a maybe a few cards with these um gelatos so so this is the metallic set um so um so we've got silver ice golden champagne ice charm iced coffee so i'm really really looking forward to using them in fact i have actually used them on a page you'll see it in my completed pages i used um a couple of the metallics and then these are the translucents. I really like the Permiston one. It's not really, I don't really see Permiston as that colour, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with them. So I'm looking forward to using them. And I'm wondering whether the translucents, whether I could almost do like, almost like a, bokeh sort of background using them but anyway i need to really play with them and see how i get on um but yeah i'm hoping to use these as i mentioned earlier in the video i'm hoping to be able to do a card with using these but we'll see <laughs> so those are those ones so i think that is actually everything there's one more thing that i bought from the range and it's this thing here so this is opal polish and it is in summer sky opal polish so it says to create colorful iridescent effects on porous craft surfaces just to release the integral sponge by holding the top of the pot between fingers and thumb and peel sideways so i had a real job getting this off but i did manage to do it in the end oh yep yeah, there we go so it comes with a little sponge. I mean, I I have used it on um, a picture, which you might have seen in my um, in my mysterious pencils. I did actually use this for the water. Um, so I'm really pleased I have got this. I'll just open it and show you. But there's a lot of there's a lot of material in here, so it will last a really long time. But I'm hoping to use it perhaps on um, on seas um water and maybe like fairy wings and things um so yeah i'm looking forward to getting getting more use out of this one and there are quite a few cosmic shimmer um items that i would really like to purchase so i'm sure you'll see more of this sort of stuff um anyway so that is everything thank you very much for watching and i shall see you soon take care everyone bye